So, here we are, at the end of it all. Oh, I never thought I'd be saying this, but um, it is... Looking at the time, 10 to 10, I don't know if you can read it properly. Or 5 to 10, actually. Which means that it's two hours before I'm finally released from quarantine in this Hong Kong hotel. Oh, I mean, how does it feel to be finally free soon? I mean, I'm, I'm not free yet, but, you know, I will be in two hours. I have to say, this is the longest time I have spent in self-isolation, probably ever in my life. Like, never, never have I spent so long in self-isolation self before. I can only kind of imagine how much more difficult it would have actually been without the internet and without actually being able to contact people. I mean, to be honest, though, the internet in this hotel has been crap throughout the whole two weeks. It's been constantly on and off. Um, and it's been constantly messing up. And I actually... Um, I taught an online English lesson today to um, someone from China and uh, it kept on the internet connection just kept on breaking and breaking and breaking in the end I just had to buy lots of really expensive phone data from back in the UK in order to get the internet actually working because the Wi-Fi here is just so terrible um, so there is that you know wi it, we have reached a <laughs> we've reached an age haven't we where Wi-Fi has become the new uh, norm or the new the new need. I don't know if you're familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You know, you've got the basic needs at the bottom, like food and shelter and hygiene and things like this. But there's actually a joke people often make where they actually, at the bottom, they put um, the very bottom of the hierarchy of needs, they actually put Wi-Fi. Um, because that is very much something we need in our society, especially during lockdown. I mean, how else are we going to order our food? I mean, I guess you could use the landline. I, I don't know if anyone out there actually still uses the landline. but uh, That would be quite interesting if that's what if that's what you do. Do let me know if that's what you still do. But um, yeah, they've actually, interestingly, they've got a little landline here in the hotel. I've got a little telephone over there. So... Yeah, uh, they they some uh, once they phoned through for something to do with quarantine. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully soon I'll be able to take this thing off. Well, I'm not exactly sure when. Probably when I leave. And uh, on to the next chapter. On to the next part of the future. I mean, what's going to happen next? I I actually since arriving in Hong Kong, I haven't actually been in Hong Kong yet, really. I mean, I've been in this room in Hong Kong, in, and it's funny because this room really is its on Hong Kong Island, it's in the centre of Hong Kong, and yet I have not been allowed outside. So when I do go outside, it's going to be pretty amazing, and I'm looking forward to it. And, yeah, I'm just having my tea now. I brought with me a some twinings, which I bought in Sainsbury's. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that's chamomile and orange. It's uh, quite refreshing. Not that I'm advertising chamomile and orange or anything. It's just quite a nice thing to have, you know, especially when you're in self isolation on your own for all this time. So take a look outside. Uh, it's actually quite amazing, all the city lights around this time of night. So, if I can somehow switch the camera around. It doesn't actually let me do that, but okay. Um, there we go. Look at that, that's Hong Kong. I love those uh, steps there, which kind of go down. There and, there. and the the street lights there, I quite like. Yeah, it's quite 
a romantic kind of view, isn't it? I, I, I also wonder, you know, I've been wondering over this time how many people can see me. You know, like, like, I, I bet lots and lots of people can see me, like loads of people. It's almost like a performance and there's this huge audience there in front of me just watching me do my watching me live my everyday life watching me sleep watching me get up watching me go on my laptop watching me drink coffee you know they 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 can literally see it all wow two week quarantine You've got to try it. Try it at some point in your life. See what it's like for you. I think each of us will have a different experience. But I know for one thing, and one thing is for sure, we'll all be faced to confront ourselves whenever we're in quarantine. Uh, we, we're all going to be faced to confront all the parts about us we don't like and all the parts about us we do like and all the parts we want to grow and all the parts we, we're not sure we want to grow all the parts we want to grow and all the parts we want to leave behind you know these will all be there right well this is it now for my hotel quarantine vlog the next time I film I'll be free and moving on to the next thing. So for those of you who have watched me throughout my hotel quarantine, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate um, your interest in my hotel quarantine life and um, I will no doubt be making more videos in the future. So. See you soon.